Hello, my name is Anker, and welcome back to part 16 of my stereoscopic 3D Let's Play of Alien Isolation. Unfortunately, I did have to replay the entire section of sneaking through the medical facility. Starting back at the point where I was in Jupiter... ...the Jupiter Overlook Room. And this is still not working properly in 3D. So I will be showing this to you in 2D. Sorry about that. Okay, right, so I can get this. Hi, my name is Julia Jones, and I'm a writer covering Sevastopol's decommissioning. I was hoping to interview you about your experiences on the station. Can't you use know, that. Yeah, there's some type of full screen effect going on here that sort of doubles my vision. And apparently that's not going to work in 3D. Doctor, a major public health issue. Shit, how do I get out of here? I'm gonna use the med kit. Call me. No, no, no. So what am I supposed to do? I don't see anything to do out there. Red. I've listened to that. This guy is dead. This is green, which usually signifies I'm able to do something, but I can't. Alright. This is locked. Nothing here. This is not accessible. Come on, I don't want to die here and have to do this again. This is locked. A med kit. Okay. That's where I just came in from. This is glowing. Climb. Go, go, go. Climb it. Move keys up. This is some serious upper body strength. Ah. Oh man. Wish I could be seeing this in 3D, but... Jump! Ooh! Go, go, go! Quick time shit! Okay. Switched it back to 3D. Seems to be working here. It's weird, because when I switched it back to 3D, the first frames that I saw were the frames when I switched 3D off. That's weird. Okay. So, I don't know what happened to the alien. It got blown to bits, maybe. Because I didn't see any sign of it. But it probably just scurried off into the vents. That's where it feels at home. Alright. Hoping to get to some sort of save point here. Oh, man. These first person animations are just so good. Just hop down here. Here's an enclosed area. Make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Nope. Okay. This should be the end of the mission. We're going to Seekston Synthetics? Oh no! Oh no. You know what Seekston Synthetics means. It means many, many, many rubber maids. Alright, we need to get to Taylor. Get her these supplies. 
And another thing that I noticed upon watching Alien, the original film, was that this is the vent access, these spirally looking things. Except they didn't seem to close all the way. The cool thing about the spirals in the film was there was basically no computer generated imagery back in those days. So they really used some type of contraption that did this. They really built that. <laughs> All right, let's go in. Ah. I know that this is going to be a heavy section of synthetics, Angry Joes. I mean, Working Joes. Got all these little cubbies that don't actually lead anywhere. This is very much linear. Got some intricate piping. And if the alien found me in here, I'd have no chance. None whatsoever. I can hear the alien again. Yeah, there was a sensor there, but... There's a piece missing. I need to fix that. Run a compression cylinder. Okay. I guess what I could do here is... First of all, what is the sensor? That. I can just commit some components. I don't know if I can get at it again. Okay, there we go. So I can commit components to crafting. It doesn't actually use them yet, but it does allow me to have a free inventory space. Alright, so we got these three guys here. Let's climb through here and see if we can just go around. The alien is in the area, so I could use those guys to distract the alien. Problem is they'd all three of them die very quickly, so it wouldn't be too much of an extract a, a distraction. Mahoney, thank God. We got jumped. Looters. We saw it on the security team. We're trapped. Elevator's out. You're right by systems and synthetic storage. There's all kinds of stuff to fix it. We don't know where to look. Boot up a requisition android. Is he insane? Peterson wants to know if you're fucking insane. Those things have started attacking people. They're friendly unless you do something unauthorized. Talking to an android and aware of it should be fine. It'll know how to fix the elevator. Okay. Francis out. Asshole. Should be fine. Well, I'm sure as hell not making new best friends with one of those things. <laughs> All right. My path is laid out before me. We need to speak with an android. Hopefully it's not a working Joe model. So what do we do now? Hold on. Let me think. What did you think that noise was we heard earlier? Sounded like an explosion. I figured that out, genius. I mean, what caused it? Gotta be weights. I heard he's trying to kill that creature by setting traps. Remote charges, can you believe that? He's gotta be crazy. Oh, that explains Maybe that's it. The answer. I heard that Waits has some kind of safe haven up near the Galleria. We could go there. Did you not hear what I said? Crazy fuckers blowing stuff up. No thanks. We're running out of options. Then shut up and let me think. <laughs> okay. So it was Waits that had set that trap and saved our life, so we owe Waits, I guess. La ladder right- oh, crap. We're not alone. Something heard the shots. Give it a rest. I agree with you. You are not alone. I'm dying for a smoke. Alright, so it looks like I'm in an area. A 
above them. I'm just going to sneak around here and try and be as stealthy as possible so that I don't aggravate the alien. Great. Shit, dead end. Yep. Any items here at least? Could be something. But I don't see it. This place has no hiding spots. So if I get the alien down here, I'm screwed. I mean, up here. I'm gonna take it nice and slow. Ooh, someone died. Oh, that's a working Joe. But he is deactivated. He is not a sleeping Joe. Here's a map that is of no assistance. Terminal should be able to read this one. I'm betting that I can read this one. And I am correct. Let's fix the convergence. Oh, crap. Motion detector just went off. Motion tracker, excuse me. This whole station's gone to shit. YI are years ahead. Wayland Utani, I believe YI stands for. Report Smith, head of synthetic development. I just received schematics for the 120 A forward slash 8. I don't know how much we paid our mole, but the Siegston board's gonna. Siegston board's gonna need to shell out a hell of a lot more. I know this seems old tech for Wayland Utani, but it's beyond anything we're capable of. Our key executives and shareholders won't listen, but we need investment. The company and all its subsidiaries are light years ahead of us. So the company, I think, is the company that was referred to in Alien by Dallas. Uh, I figured that the company was actually Wayland Utani, but I guess the company is the company. I don't know. They never actually say the name of the company or any companies in the Alien movie. Maybe that doesn't come until later because there really is very little backstory given in the original Alien film. Smythe, I've been looking over your report on the Wayland Utani androids and your proposals for improving the working Joes. Now, I appreciate the work you put in, but understand we live in different worlds. Yours is full of extrapolations and estimations. Mine has an executive suite and $8,000 suits. Bottom line is, I gotta look after the money, buddy. I hired you because you were the cheapest, not the best. Find a way to bring these costs down, huh? Ransom out. Okay, so this is the ransom that Waits was talking about. Bogies detected. Oh, the game's running at 60 FPS right here. Nice. Feels so smooth. Yes. I can tell without looking at the fraps counter. Because I actually have the fraps counter disabled right now. And I just checked it, and yes indeed. It was running at 60. But now it is at 30 again. Oh. Just went back to 60. Whatever. You see it, you just run. Yeah. You actually need to find a place to hide before you see it. Smoke bomb version 2. What does that mean? Getting quite a few things here. This I can actually build too. Finally a use for ethanol. Let's do that. Sensor, we got plenty of those. Bonding agent. A device which detonates on impact will release a cloud of smoke that obscures visibility. This upgraded version creates smoke which lasts for longer duration. As a modified proximity device, it can be placed as a trap that will trigger when enemies are near. Okay. What does this do? Synthetics, maybe? 
The EMP detonates on impact to release an electromagnetic pulse that temporarily disables non-industrial synthetics. It can be placed it can be placed to become a proximity detonated device. Wait, is that permanently or temporary? Oh, it's temporary. Shit. That's a lot less useful. Molotov is an incendiary device which detonates on impact. It is lethal to humans and other organics, but synthetics are very resistant to fire. As a modified proximity device, it can be placed as a trap. Pipe bomb, big explosion. Lethal to humans and non-industrial synthetics in close proximity. Trigger when enemies are near. Okay. Sounds like we got a save point in this room. Oh, convergence is a bit tight, sorry. Alright, let's go through this person's ter terminal. Working Joe Spiel. Russell. Here's my spiel for the potential clients today. What do you think? Spedding will hang me out to dry if they don't bite. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome to the buzzing heart of the Sevastopol Synthetic Solution. Next up on your tour will be the SysTech Spire and the Apollo Core itself. But first, an example of Android self-governance. When Apollo synthetics require a little more care than the repair wards can provide, they come here. We believe this is the first rollout of fully automated synthetic to synthetic medical intervention. No human expertise required. No costly human surgical training. All data is streamed directly from Apollo and every incision recorded in its logs. This is the future, gentlemen. Tomorrow, together. Interesting, so they're gonna have synthetics repairing synthetics. Okay. Storage inventory. Russell, upstairs. Want a full rundown on... Upstairs want a full rundown on what we've got stocked in component storage. There's some useful stuff in there. Some junk. They want value estimates, too. Estimates, too. Smythe. Okay, I'd like to get into component storage. Hopefully it's not a bunch of empty containers. Audio error. Okay. Alright, let's just fix this convergence real quick. Right. Let's continue. We need to find the warehouse. Or the factory. Whatever it was they said. Should be some type of industrial synthetic that can help me out with repairing the elevator. Those guys are too chicken to do it, so I guess they're just going to stand around. Wait for the alien to kill them. Fools. It pulled him up into the vent. Okay, here's component storage. Okay. Some scrap. Another terminal to view. What I wouldn't give for a cock key to make this switching a lot easier. I've been following the 3D Migato project on uh, GitHub, and they are having conversations about how to make the hotkey system work, which is currently disabled right now in the current version of 3D Migato. Uh, so hopefully they'll get that shit sorted out, and I'll be able to have some hotkeys with Maybe not this game, because I'll probably be finished with it by the time they get that working, but maybe a game's in the future. Tomorrow, together, number two. Tomorrow, to get Together, tomorrow. Siegson's journey into colonial space. An official history by Sebastian Sieg. First printed in Ion Siegson. Our remarkable growth. Sieg and Son proved to be the backbone of colonial FTL expansion, providing reliable components that could carry humanity into deep space. In doing so, it... 
In so doing, it grew, and by 2066 was running vast manufacture plants in London, Buenos Aires, Nagasaki, and the lunar Schickard War Wargatin frontier. By 2071, the year the Sieg family sold its shares back into the company, its expansion remained exponential. Single-minded rivals looked, in, looked on with envy as Sieg and Son became market leaders manufacturing cars, chemicals, education equipment, and building materials. Toward the end, towards the end of the last century came a move that would forge our shared future. Sieg and Son became Siegson. We took on the name our customers had known us by for decades, and we turned to face tomorrow together among the stars. Wow. VIP visit. It's an audio log. Let's just check this first. All right, let's play. Right. Have you been practicing the script for the VIPs visiting today? <laughs> we need to impress. Noise from upstairs says they're the last potential bidders for Sevastopol's work and Joe rollout. If they go with Wayland Utani castoffs instead, the jobs Seeks and have allocated for us back on Earth are on the line. Don't screw up. It's spreading out. Okay, so that's spedding. Heard him mentioned earlier. Alright. Run away to open the door to the warehouse. So I can go up that way. Use the requisitions android to access the components warehouse. Alright, before we do that, let's see what's up here. I think I hear a save point. Yep. Saving game. Pretty generous with the save points in this area. They were not generous with them in the previous area. The last part of the medical area. What's this? Making a weird sound. Shut up. What is it? Is this like a subway system or something? Device invalid. Darn. Still a cool screenshot. I think we're gonna need the android to help us with that. Whoa, what the fuck? What? I have no explanation for what just happened. Is there some sort of trap? <laughs> yep. Okay. We're... We're missing something, that much is clear. Okay. Let's see about this android. Hopefully the alien won't get me in here. Of course it will. Let's have a conversation. Ah! Nothing's ever simple. Here's a vent. Let's just check around this area first. What are these? Oh! That is Creepy McCreeperson. Yeah, this probably just goes around to the other one. That would be my guess. I'm hearing a save point over here, too. Super generous with the save points. Yeah, right there. Okay. An ID tag. Scrap. Ooh. Access tuner level two. Hmm. 
I'm fine with that. We are progressing in the Metroidvania metagame. Okay. So where can I actually use this access tuner level 2? Oh, there was a room that said device invalid on the door, I think. Let's go back that way and check it out. Up there. I don't want to do any running here. Oh. Key card. That's not it. Here, I think. Yep. Whoop. That is really close. I'll try and do this. Oh, okay, yeah, this is getting more complicated. To be expected. Okay. No gas, please. Alright. Wow. Some items, actually. Rare sight. Oh, sorry about that. Requisitions, Android. Spedding. Now you've fired me, I'm gonna... You'll have to descend from your ivory tower to pick up the slack. The guys decommissioning Sevastopol have free access to supplies and storage, but everything will need logging. So use the requisitions, Android. Power him up. Let him out of his box and watch him go. Just like me, huh? By the time you get this... I'll be dead drunk in Gillen's bar. Guess you already know this, but it's been pure hell working for you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> so Smythe got fired, and he's quite he's quite happy about it, actually. Oops. Ah. All right. Shared. Elevator out. I just got another message from Spedding about the busted ele elevator outside the Android's Examination Theater. My guys have a million things to do right now, so it's not going to be fixed in time for your VIP visit. If Spedding wants to be a priority, then maybe he should stop being a petulant asshole. <sighs> petulant asshole. I don't know what I just said there. It's an easy job. Off the top of my head, I can tell you the parts you need are in storage, component storage, row 1, stack B. If you can't find it yourself, ask the requisitions droid. Just get off my back. Chief. Smythe, it's Spedding. You knew full well that these guys were the last bidders for Sevastopol's Apollo system. And you totally fucked the android presentation. They're not interested. So no bonus for me, no half share for you, and God only knows what it means for the suits upstairs. That's got me pissed. But you know what's getting me even more pissed? I have to stay on Sevastopol to oversee the synthetic shutdown while you go home. Don't have nightmares on the trip back, jackass. <laughs> they don't like each other. And him talking about the half share for Smythe reminds me of... Uh, Parker, the black fellow. From uh, Alien, the original film. And he, he was very concerned with getting his shares. Oh yeah, right. Now, I just forgot something, man. Uh, before we dock, I think we ought to discuss the bonus situation. Right. Brett and right. I, we think we ought to, we deserve full shares, right, right Amy? You see, Mr. Park and I feel that the bonus situation has never been on a, an equitable level. Well, you get what you contracted for like everybody else. Yes, but everybody else uh, gets more than us. Alright, so it looks like I can hack this. Wait, well, there it is. Okay. Yeah. 
What's that noise? I think the, earlier when I came through here I saw, yeah, you can see a little bit of green haze in there. Killed me pretty quickly, so... If I'm gonna get in there, I'm gonna have to get some type of mask or... Shut that off. Okay. We need to get the key card from the android. Hopefully he'll be a friendly one, but probably not. You know how this shit goes. Now play nice. Now play nice. Oh, what the hell is that? Camera just automatically moves for some reason. Hey, pushy. How can I help you? I need a compression cylinder. Component His eyes are white, so he's okay. He's cool. Stack B. Follow me. Just yeah, I already knew that. Down, okay? I already knew about row one stack B, but I didn't have the key card. I guess I can just let him take me on a ride. Because he'll just push me. Oh, he actually walked around. Okay. <laughs> you got a blank face, my friend. Couldn't they upgrade you with some real skin? Kind of like Ash's skin? I won't go into any more detail on what I just said. Okay. This is green. Here we are. Your compression cylinder will be found at the far end of this row. Oh great, everything's broken. So B row one. Watch out, watch out! The one working Joe that I could really deal with. He just got himself killed. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna need to go around. But conveniently, there are some vents. Whoop. Maybe not. This doesn't go anywhere. I guess it's just a hiding spot. Okay, so we need to manipulate this. Oh. Get me some items. Oh. Okay. I guess this controls that one as well. Oh, I can move while I'm on top of it? That'd be pretty cool. Let's check out these other ones. Or this other one. Can't move that. I want to see if I can find any items. Oh, how far does it go up? Okay. It's the maximum that will... It, it will go up. I probably need to figure out how far to put it up based on what I see once I go up top. It probably creates some sort of bridge or something. Oh, this can be controlled. Oh, this is controlling the same one. So maybe not. Here I am. Alright, so let's check this out. What am I thinking? I can't move up top. I was in the wrong spot when I noticed that. Alright, never mind. Let's go. 
Never mind. So it's B row one. Or something like that. Are these rows numbered? Okay, there's something. Compound B. No, 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 no. Oh, what? I'm hovering over move up. There we go. Up, up, up. Looking for items. As far as it goes. Cannot move this one. I guess there could be items on both sides. That's a bit of an issue with the way I've been doing this. Probably missed something that was on the other side of one of the things I was looking at. Check both sides, I guess. That one doesn't operate. This one doesn't operate. Okay. Tedious process of checking both sides, but this is nightmare. I need to make sure that I collect everything I can. And I know I've skipped a lot of stuff. There's a cylinder. There's my musical cue. And I'm sure I'm going to have to evade the alien on my way out of here. Sensor. Let's put that in something that I'm likely to use. Pipe bomb. Very expensive to create one of those. I don't know that I'll ever even be able to make one. Let's do a noisemaker. I'll probably make another noisemaker at some point. There we go. Make sure there's nothing here. Oh, flare. Alright, so I want to check this one. I'll speed it up. Okay, I did find some items. Checking both sides of this is going to be a bit tedious. But I'm going to speed it up. Check both sides of that. There was an item that I missed. I hear the alien, like, really close. But don't think there's any way to get in here, except coming through that door right there. So I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to check this side.
Okay, was able to find a sensor there. Let's try and get out of here now. Alien is in the area. So I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna save my game. And that is gonna conclude part 16. My stereoscopic 3D Let's Play of Alien Isolation. This is a very long part. I kinda lost track of time, but that's okay. A part can be long every now and again. This game is so tense. I've been playing this game for how long? I can't even check because the Steam overlay doesn't work with this game. I think I've been playing about three hours now at this current play session. Two, three hours, somewhere in there. Whew, I need a break, man. It's just, you can't just, you, you just can't play this game for hours on end in stereoscopic 3D. It's just too tense. You need to give yourself a little bit of a break. And I understand how Chris feels Stare 3D Productions. He plays this game in like hour long sessions. It's just too intense to just stay in it any longer. All right, so I'm gonna cut it here. Please join me in the next part. I do not know about getting through there. Uh, maybe if there was some rewire, I could do something, but I haven't seen any around here, so. Yeah. All right. Goodbye, I'll see you in the next part.